another game of interplanetary ice spy here for all you space detectives out there and we have this image from Sol 72 so this goes right back to the very early days of the Curiosity rover mission in Gale Crater and we have here what looks like a, a skull and what's cool about this is, is we've got scale because there are rover tracks in the same image which gives us a good size and uh, this thing I would is about seven inches or so tall a bit smaller than the human skull um, but very different um, now I'm going to show you it straight away and then we'll backtrack a little bit and I'll show you the raw images and stuff uh, we also got a gigapan to look at to find it as well which is cool and what we have here is a very interesting skull Martian uh, which doesn't look human it's got a very strange point to the top of it just here comes around like this we've got a cheekbone here maxilla here and a row of teeth and the jaw comes down to there and we have an eye here and an eye here a very narrow reptilian looking nose with what looks like a, uh, a nasal cavity there on the side so this looks like some kind of reptilian perhaps don't know for sure and these rather interesting cranial plates at the back which look like large scales almost here okay you can see them in the raw image really clearly so if you look closely you will see even in the raw image there is a row of teeth here one two three four about five coming around there and there's one or two on the side and some very vague ones below as well and in the enhanced clip on the right we can see those teeth here so this is not a rock um, it's a skull and it has a row of incisors here which are pretty clear and you could just about make up make out some teeth down below and the chin coming like that okay and it the cheekbone sticks right out like that and you can see these large eye sockets here coming right up and there's an eye there and an eye there and if you go in close and sharpen it up a bit like I've done here you can actually see that there is some eye detail just here you can actually see an eye here and the eyelid coming right up so they've got big almond shaped eyes like some of the previous ones I've shown and it looks very alien to what we would think of as a human I would say not quite enough detail to determine exactly what it is but it is a skull of some sort and it has a row of teeth, two eyes and a nose and a strange pointed head. Now let me show you on the Gigapan. There's a really nice one here by uh, Neville Thompson. There'll be a link to this below and here it is. You can see it quite clearly. It's very reflective so you can see those teeth quite clearly in the raw image. A row of teeth just there. So it's rather strange. I don't really know what it is, whether it's a reptilian or not. It looks kind of reptilian to me because the nose is very, very small and narrow here, uh, like some of the others I've shown. So that was interesting. And there's loads and loads of other things in this area. You may want to have a look at this Gigapan because there are, this is absolutely littered with what they like, heads and skulls and, and uh, remains lying around and fossils and things. And uh, if I find any more in here, which I'm sure I will, I'll put them in at the end of the video in a minute. Doesn't look human at all. This looks like some kind of reptilian and I have shown many others and I'll put clips of the other skulls similar to this that I found um, really interesting it's got a very narrow nose big almond eyes coming up like that a very clear upper, max upper maxilla there very large distance between the teeth and the nose which is here and um, we've got these teeth here which are a little bit vague but in fact if you don't get too close and zoom back a bit you can see it like on the raw image here you can see them quite clearly so it is a skull it's not a rock rocks don't have rows of incisors like this has so very interesting so another one for the collection that will get ignored by most people because the words I'm using on YouTube words like skull are probably restricted uh, for some reason there are lots of restricted words I don't use or try not to uh, I normally use the word cranium <laughs> but I still seem to get into trouble for using it uh, so there we are the problem is with um, YouTube is there's so many blacklisted words now it's very difficult to talk about anything 
of any note um, without getting restrictions put on your videos. And they don't actually tell you they're being restricted, they do it secretively. So you kind of get shadow banned. So there it is, there's just the, the enhanced clip on its own. And you can see that shape really clearly there, that point to it. Very interesting. Tons of stuff to see here. If I find anything else, I'll put it in, in a few seconds. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.